friends, I am Dr. Avesh Singh and I welcome you to Avesh Academy. One of the very common questions which people ask me is that they don't have interest in anything. They try something, they have interest in the beginning, then they lose the interest. They try something else, again try for some time, again they lose interest. And they generally have no interest in anything. They get bored because they want to do a lot of things but they don't have interest. So the question is why we don't have interest, number one, how we can generate interest. First of all, why interest is important? Interest is important because if you have interest in something, you naturally want to do that thing. And when you are naturally doing something, your mind is totally focused on that thing, your performance goes up, your results goes up. And if you don't have any interest, in that condition what happens, that your mind is somewhere else. You don't want to do it, so it's a drag, it's a force on you, you get tired fast and the results are also not good. That is why if we have interest on something, we perform well. The only question is how to develop interest. Now let me tell you something about from my own life. When I was in class 12th, my interest area was maths and physics. I loved these two subjects. I used to solve the problems. I used to understand the problems. And I used to score very good marks in these two subjects. But I had no interest whatsoever in chemistry, which I find very boring. I generally will get lesser marks in chemistry. Nevertheless, it was a important paper so I have to prepare for it. But when I was in class 12th, in the half yearly examination, I got just 50 out of 100 marks in chemistry. Then I got seriously worried because chemistry is one third of the weightage, it is given one third of the weightage in all the competitive exams in addition to maths and physics. So if I don't perform well in chemistry, it was sure that I am not going to perform well in any of the competitions for engineering. Because of that, I had decided that I should now focus on chemistry. And I started studying chemistry. It was tough in the beginning, but gradually as I studied more, I could understand chemistry more. And then after some time, I started liking chemistry. After some time I really developed an interest in chemistry because I could understand it well. And trust me, when the result came in class 12th, I got the highest marks in chemistry, more than maths and physics. My performance in chemistry helped me to get very good ranks in IIT and other regional engineering colleges. Now how this happened? Because earlier I did not know chemistry. I did not understand chemistry well and that is why I had no interest. Because if you don't understand something, you don't have an interest, whether it is a people, whether it is a game or whether it is a subject. So just like your interest improves your performance, if your performance is well, you develop interest. So if you don't have interest on something, study more, do that thing more and develop a skill, expertise. Because once you develop a skill, expertise and knowledge of the subject, you will naturally develop a skill, an interest. It, will, it is going to take time. The people who start something and then they get bored of it because they don't develop expertise on that, they don't develop sufficient knowledge on that. There is a bridge, you have to cross that bridge. Unless you cross that bridge, you are not likely to develop interest. Let me give you another example. I was never interested in writing. I never wrote any article in my college also. But when I went to join PhD course, it was by compulsion that I had to write research papers and get it published in international journals. As a result of which, I was forced to write research paper. And when I started writing that research paper, I was not interested in the beginning because writing a research paper is a very boring job. But once I wrote research papers and that got published, 
I started developing interest gradually into the skill of writing. And gradually, I developed a lot of interest in writing. And even though I completed my PhD, thereafter I continued my writing and started doing research and kept writing on different, different topics. Gradually, this passion of writing has overtaken and I have written so far four books, written more than 3,000 answers on Quora, one of the most popular author I have become on Quora, and I keep writing every day. It is because I developed a skill in writing, and this has taken a long time. So friends, if you do not have an interest in something, understand that your interest is because you don't have sufficient knowledge, skill, or expertise in that. If you develop expertise by force also, then you will gradually develop interest also in that subject. So don't give up if you feel that something is uninteresting. If it is important, force yourself to know more about the subject, to know more about the people, to know more about that particular skill. And once you develop that, then naturally you will also develop an interest in that. Thank you very much for watching my video. And if you like my video, please share your thoughts in the comment section and also suggest me any new topic for the video. Thank you very much.